Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and Sunday means our Australia Zoo. And today with our Australia Zoo, we are building a habitat for our saltwater crocodile. And our saltwater crocodile, um, obviously when I think of Australia, I think of Steve Irwin and Steve Irwin is famous for crocodiles. So our Australia Zoo needed to have some crocodiles in there. And these crocodiles are placed directly next to the entrance in the big water that we have there. There will be fencing so they can't escape and attack the guests. And it will be an amazing like watery habitat, mostly water, like very little land. But I'm very, very happy with it. Obviously we are going for all the safety precautions, so we are making sure that there are fences all around the bridges that we are building. We are also making sure that there are those little railings in case um, one of the kids falls over. They land on those things and not in habitats because, you know, it would be kind of awful if your kids would fall off the bridge uh, above the crocodile habitat. Like that wouldn't actually be nice. So at this point uh, we were, well, we, I was having some difficulties with actually allowing the crocodiles into the water because it's kept being too steep so the crocodiles actually couldn't go in so I had to remove the water a lot and then place it back and then work on the terrain I think I repeated this process like eight times or something I didn't put all of that in because obviously um, that isn't that interesting to watch I did leave some of it in so um, also a downside that you have like the male crocodile the female crocodile and the female crocodile um, is actually able to walk over stuff that the male crocodile isn't. So that was kind of annoying. But you know what? It is what it is. In the end, we managed though. And in the end, the male crocodile was able to go into this lovely big water. And I actually think it looks really, really nice. They have like two little water bits. They have one little bit uh, on the side and they have one giant one like where the entrance is. So actually when the guests spawn, they can already see the crocodiles just from the spawn point. And I, I'm absolutely in love with it. That might just be me, but I really, really like it. Also with the terrain, obviously uh, the crocodiles are a bit demanding. If you say, if, yeah, if I were one to say, I think they're a bit demanding with things. I much rather have my crocodiles completely in grass, but they're not really happy with that. So you need to make sacrifices. Same for this uh, shelter that I tried to build. Apparently uh, the way that I built it, the crocodiles couldn't enter, so that's annoying. So then um, in the end we adjusted it and we made sure that some of the crocodiles... Well, not some of the crocodiles, some of the paneling is actually away, so it's a little bit smaller. But it still looks nice and the guests can actually see it quite well. And I actually really like the fact that you have like the um, crocodile habitat. And then there's a bit of open land and then there's the fencing for the guests so it, it makes it far more realistic because you know when i go to the zoo and i look at um, like lions for example they have a gate and then there's water or a piece of land and then there's the gates where the visitors have to stand behind so i actually thought it was pretty accurate and i, I quite like it this has to be like one of my favorite zoos so far not that i've built a lot of zoos i think this is my third zoo that I'm building. I've done some franchise mode, but I never really enjoy that. I just want to build and build and build and build until like my all my imagination is done. But um, this Australia, well, this Australia zoo, it is definitely one of my favorite zoos. It is completely in the desert. And at first I was like, man, this is going to be so difficult. How on earth are you going to make sure that the zoo looks actually good while you're completely in the desert? And I have to say, I'm actually quite happy with the way it turned out. I'm really happy with the way it turned out, actually. I, I really feel like the scenery and all the rocks and the way that it's like shaped as a desert, which I did myself. I'm quite proud of that, too. And I actually really enjoyed just making the, the map. So like the terraforming, I really enjoyed that. And I think I am going to be making some more maps because I absolutely love that. It is very much time consuming though, like very time consuming. But it is what it is. And I actually really, really enjoy it. And that is, I know it's really weird to say, but I really enjoy just messing with the terrain. Like making hills, making lakes. I really love it. 
So at the moment we are just placing some last enrichment items for our crocodiles. Making sure that uh, they actually have some bedding which they can sleep on. And they have food, they have some enrichment items. And after that, I believe we are going to keep ourselves busy with the surrounding. So we are going to make sure that there are a lot of plants. And that it actually looks nice. Because at the moment it's still a little bit, uh, well, empty. And you don't want that. So uh, on the right side of the crocodile habitat, there's actually a very big empty space. We are going to uh, make sure that there are animals there. So if you have any suggestions, do let me know in the comments down below. And I will see if we can manage it. If this is the first episode you're watching of this Australia Zoo, make sure you check out the other episodes as well. They will be linked at the end of the video and they will also be linked in the description below. So open that. There will also be a link to the Woodland Zoo, which is the zoo where I imagine everything the way I want it in a zoo. And I believe there are also links to my social media on which you can follow me as well. So do make sure you do that. That makes sure that you get updated with everything. Mostly on Twitter. I don't tweet a lot, so don't worry, I'm not spamming your timeline. But sometimes I have the occasional tweet with some important information or like if I can't make an, up to the, um, an upload time or whatever, you know, just make sure you follow me there. It will be fun. I don't spam your timeline, so just, just follow. It's, it's fun. So at the moment we are just making sure that there are enough bins because we do have this complete new pathway. And we all know the Planet Zoo, uh, well, guests, they just throw their litter literally everywhere so if there's not a trash can directly near them they just throw it on the streets and i get so annoyed by that because i have been raised that you don't do that even if there isn't like a trash can nearby just put it in your pocket or put it in your bag and then throw it away when you do see a trash can i think it's absolutely rude to just throw away your trash on the street and that might just be the way i was raised but i think that is very good because you know we do need to take care of our nature and it's our world and if we don't do something now we are going to be in so much trouble in like 40 years and i know that seems like a very long way but imagine in 40 years most of you probably still have to work me as well i don't want to live in a world like i if people like tell me oh climate change isn't that bad i always imagine mad max I don't know if you've seen that movie, but um, it's on Netflix right now. There's Mad Max Fury Road. Watch it and you'll know what I mean. I'm just not going to say anymore. So right now we are making sure that the surroundings uh, next to the crocodile habitat actually look nice as well. We are placing some plants. We're making sure that we're keeping the desert filter on. And we are also placing some uh, eucalypti tree just because those are everywhere in this zoo and we want to like make sure it feels as one obviously we also need a power supply so that people can actually get educated and i believe this is episode five of our australia zoo and that means we only have five more episodes before we close this zoo i'm actually quite excited about it i mean i'm gonna do my first zoo tour as well so that will be very fun at least i i think it's fun <laughs> You might not think it's fun, but I think it's really fun. And we are just messing with the terrain. We are going into the cinematics though. So guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. Bye guys.